poppin' YouTube with your boy Justin, aka Adobe One Kenobi, back in this bitch for another mind altering tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how you can facetune with inside of Adobe Photoshop. This is a really cool technique that I use on a lot of my YouTube thumbnails just to enhance the expression on my face, just to make it look a little bit more engaging. Now, before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, my name is Justin. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the content. And at the end of the video, if you like this one specifically, hit me with one of these, I'd really appreciate it. Now, with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop, hit new file. I'm going to be making my canvas 1920 by 1080 for the sake of replicating a YouTube thumbnail. Make your dimensions whatever you want for whatever specific project you're working on. So now I'm just gonna go in and find the photo that I want to facetune. I'm gonna bring it into Photoshop and just resize it so it fills up the canvas. Next, with the photo layer selected, I'm going to go up to Filter and Liquify. Now you'll see a couple brush tool options up top. We're not really gonna worry about those, but just so you know what they do, you can kind of manually go through and smudge sort of your photos. We are gonna be looking at the Face Aware Liquify tab though. So we've got the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the face shape. And then we have a bunch of different toggles that we can play around with. I'm just gonna max these all out so you can kind of see what the most extreme version of this effect is. So you see the eyes are getting really big. We don't want them that big. Um, we're gonna make them a little bit smaller, but you do have that control if you want to take that route. So we're gonna make the eye size somewhere around probably 55. I'm gonna do that with both eyes. So you'll see you have left and right controls. Now the eye height, I'll probably go to around 55 again. To be honest, I'm probably gonna put everything around 55. Now with the eye width, we're gonna do the same thing, 55. Make sure we get the second as well. And finally, the eye tilt. I don't really need to play with this too much. It kind of makes them go left and right. I kind of like them even. Um, so I'll probably put Probably put this one around 38 and the other one around 100. Next is the nose. You can kind of make it longer or wider. I don't really feel the need for that today because I'm trying to just make this person look extremely surprised for a thumbnail, um, but do whatever you want with these controls. Next is the mouth. You can see the smile at 100 makes it look like the girl's actually smiling. The upper lip is gonna make the upper lip a little bit thicker. I'm gonna throw that at 55. Lower lip is going to stretch out the lower lip, obviously. I want that to be as big as possible. And then with the mouth width and height, I'm gonna make them 100 as well because I want the mouth to be open like she is in awe. And finally, we have the face shape. The forehead, straightforward, is just gonna make it a forehead or a five head. Um, the chin height is basically gonna reduce the chin or elongate the chin. I'm gonna make that kind of longer because I want the face to look like it's sort of stretching in awe. Um, the jawline is just gonna be how defined your jawline is. We'll put that at negative 100 just to keep it thin. And finally, face width. I'm gonna make that kind of skinny. And now if we start to preview, we can see the before and after. And you'll notice that we've actually done quite a bit to the face. So once you're happy with your look, go ahead, hit OK and voila, there are your final results. And there we have it, folks. Super simple, super easy, but super useful. I use this pretty much anytime I'm making a YouTube thumbnail, especially with my face in it, but you can really bring out some emotions that might not be there in the actual photo. Now, with that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, hit me with one of these, I'd really appreciate it. If you're looking to learn more moving forward, please consider subscribing. I post very often and that's not gonna be stopping anytime soon. So a lot of free knowledge coming your way if you do decide to subscribe. And finally, let me know in the comments below Below, what videos you want to see moving forward. I'm really big on making content that you guys are actually going to learn from and actually enjoy. So let me know in the comments below. It takes five seconds. I'm always looking and I really appreciate it. Now with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.